हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू इनपुट आउटपुट कैंपस सो टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट एसेंशियल लेटेस्ट कोडिंग क्वेश्चन एंड दिस क्वेश्चन इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज यू नो इन एसेंशियल द प्रीवियस कोडिंग क्वेश्चन रिफिट्स सो यू हैव टू प्रैक्टिस ऑल द क्वेश्चंस एंड फॉर दैट वाज ऑल द वीडियोस ऑफ दिस सीरीज एंड टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट अ प्रॉब्लम व्हिच इज सम ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट प्रॉब्लम यू विल गेट एन मिनिमम आईडिया दैट हाउ टू सॉल्व दिस टाइप्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन ओके सो व्हाई डूइंग मोर कोड एंड प्रैक्टिस इट मोर एंड मोर टाइम्स यू विल बी मोर comfortable and you will be more confident to crack the coding test okay so you will be given two arrays of same length okay so array 1 and array 2 so you will be given two arrays array 1 and array 2 of same length and the elements of these two arrays will be integer it could be positive values or negative values so in array 1 there are 22 and then 7 and then 1 and then minus 5 and then 5 and then minus 2 okay and the elements into the array 2 is 4 and then minus 1 and then 21 then 12 10 and minus 3 so these are the two arrays and you can see the number of elements in array 1 is 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so in array 2 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so the length of these two arrays will be same so the length of array 1 so here the length of array 1 is 6 and array 2 is also 6 okay so these two array will be given and it will contains positive and the negative values also okay so what you have to do you have to do the product of these two arrays but how you will do the product so for array 1 the first element of array 1 will be multiplied with the last element of array 2 okay so that is 22 into minus 3 and then you have to add this and then the second element of array 1 into the second last of array 2 that is 7 into 10 okay then you have to add this with the third element of array 1 that is 1 into the third last of array 2 that is 12 so similarly minus 5 into this 21 okay so add it with 5 into this minus 1 so 5 into minus 1 and add this with minus 2 into this 4 okay and after doing this operation you have to return the final result okay so this will be the output so how you will do this so you can see that this is the first element of array 1 that is a1 of 0 will be multiplied with a2 of n minus 1 not n because it starts from 0 so right here a2 of n minus 1 okay so next we will do it a1 of so a1 of this is the position 1 so a1 of 1 into a2 of so this is a2 and this is n minus 1 position and this is n minus 2 position so a2 of n minus 2 okay so in this way we'll do the whole operation so hope you understand the question so now we'll write the code so first write here the basic format of the c++ so first write here as include io stream using namespace standard and first write the main function so in main and inside this main function write two arrays so array 1 and inside this array 1 we will copy all the values from here so copy it and paste it here okay so similarly we will do it for array 2 so write here int array 2 and we will also copy all the values from here Okay, first it here. So we have done it, and now we need the size of the array. So the size of array one and array two is same. So we can calculate 
the size of any one of this array okay and we'll store it in variable n so right here size of array 1 divided by size of array 1 of 0 okay so this will calculate the size of the array 1 okay now we'll write a function and suppose the name of the function is sum of product and inside this we'll pass this to array array 1 and array 2 and then the size of the arrays okay so before this main function write this again and the return type will be integer because we'll return the sum of the product of the two arrays so int and then sum of product function and inside this write the two arrays so first one is array 1 and then int array 2 okay and then int n this is the size of the array okay so we'll first write a base condition that is if there is no elements into the array 1 or array 2 then we will simply return minus 1 so if n equals to 0 that is size equals to 0 then we will return minus 1 okay now we will declare a sum variable and initialize with 0 because our initial sum value will be 0 and then we will calculate it okay our initial sum value is 0 here and then we will write a for loop and we will iterate from this i equals to 0 to i equals to n minus 1 that is less than n okay so inside this for loop we will write for int i equals to 0 i less than n and then i plus plus okay so inside this what we will do we will multiply these two arrays so the first element of the first array and the last element of the last array and then the second element of the first array and then the second last of the last array okay so right here array one and then the first element so this is position zero so right here zero and then multiply it with the last element of the array two so array two into so last element and the position is in minus one okay so if we run this program then this will calculate for for this one value also for this two values that is 22 and minus 3 will be multiplied and the rest of this will not be multiplied so we write here i so i will iterate from 0 to n minus 1 that is less than n so inside of this array 1 instead of 0 we can write i here because this will iterate from 0 to n minus 1 so 0 to n minus 1 okay so this is 0 position a of 0 that is a1 of 0 so a1 of 0 will be multiplied with n minus 1 and then a2 of 1 that is 7 will be multiplied with array of 2 a2 of n minus 2 so here will be n minus 2 and if we write here minus i so this will be the perfect because for i equals to 0 this will be n minus 1 and for i equals to 1 this will be n minus 1 minus 1 that is n minus 2 so which is 10 so a2 of n minus 2 is 10 and i will be increased i will be 2 that is n minus 3 so n minus 3 will be 12 okay so in this way we will multiply the two arrays so multiply is done so after every operation so after multiplying this 22 and this minus 3 we will store it somewhere and then will multiply with the another two elements so after multiplying it store it into the sum so our initial sum was 0 and after multiplying these two elements store it into the sum okay so first two multiplication will be stored into this sum so when we'll do the second operation that is second multiplication then this sum will be added to the next two multiplication okay so in this way the whole operation will be done and finally the sum will be calculated and finally we will return the sum from here
so outside of this for loop right here return sum so this will return the sum so we will print it here so right here c out and this will print the sum so now let's run the program okay there is an error in line number 11 okay in line number 11 yeah we have not terminated this line so just write here semicolon okay let's run this program again so it's compiling okay our output is zero so give here a bracket and then run it still our output is zero so what happened okay here will be n equals to equals to zero so this is a condition so let's run it again okay perfect so this is the perfect output okay so this was a silly mistake so here will be n equals to equals to zero okay so here you can check our output was minus 102 and this is the output and this is perfect so if you do this type of silly mistake then don't panic uh, see your code from first to last and you can solve it by your own if you enjoyed this video and if you find this video helpful then please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and thank you for watching this video see you in the next video till then take care